If you are watching this, then you probably lost your Roku TV remote and want to control it using the Roku app. But you don't have access to the old Wi-Fi anymore. That's why in this guide I'll show you 3 different ways to change your Roku TV's Wi-Fi without any remote and connect it to your new internet. For the following methods, you'll need to know your Roku TV's old Wi-Fi name and password. If you have them both, you can log into your router and change your Wi-Fi name and password to the exact same as the old Wi-Fi that your TV is connected to. Then unplug your TV from power, wait for a couple seconds and plug it back in. After that, your TV will think this is the same old Wi-Fi and connect to it. Now, if you can't connect your router, then get to smartphones. On one of your phones, go to your hotspot settings, change its name and password so that it matches the old Wi-Fi that your TV is connected to. Then connect the other phone to the hotspot and just like the previous step, unplug and replug your TV. When it powers on, it will connect to your new Wi-Fi and now both your phone and TV has the same Wi-Fi. So you'll be able to use the Roku app and control your TV. Unfortunately, if you have reset your TV, you don't know the old Wi-Fi name or password, or your TV is not connected to any previous Wi-Fi, then you can simply connect your Roku TV to the internet using an Ethernet cable. So just connect your TV to a router using a LAN cable. After that, your TV will automatically switch to your new network. Now you can connect your TV to your phone via the Roku app. So that's how you can change the Wi-Fi on your Roku TV if you don't have the remote. I'm sure you found this helpful, so don't forget to leave a like and check out this playlist for more guides.